This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. The Ministry of Agriculture and Marine Resources kicking off its 2015 regatta conclave last night with a welcome reception. Bringing remarks was the nation's Deputy Prime Minister, Philip Brave Davis. In my capacity as a representative for three family islands, I have a vested interest for the improvement of regattas and their better planning and management. So I wait in anticipation of the results of your conclave so that I may monitor the improvements in the upcoming Cat Island regattas slated for the Emancipation Holiday Weekend and hopefully the many regattas that were started in San Salvador. I hope that through the intervention provided by the Ministry of Tourism at this conclave, which is expected, you will formulate meaningful approaches to allow regattas to tap into our five million tourists that come to the Bahamas seeking a unique Bahamian experience. It is important that you, as stakeholders, chart the way forward to ensure that by 2020, the Bahamas will be able to host an internationally renowned regatta at the highest professional level. The theme of the conclave is building a stronger Bahamas through well-organized regattas, and the minister responsible for regattas, the Honorable V. Alfred Gray, believes they are on the right track. We have invited you here tonight to witness the beginning of something new, something different, something special, and you are the center of it all. Tell us what we need to know. Suggest to us what we need to hear so that we can make regattas go from better to best. Last week, the B3As ushered in a new era with a new executive board being elected. And moving forward, it's all about providing more opportunities in the sport of track and field. What they have to do first is uh, come around, talk to the coaches and find out what the athletes need or what the coach need to enhance the athletes. They have the athletes so to be better because the majority of the time, a lot of them, a lot of officials normally just be in the front of the media, but they don't know what me as a coach, what we go through with the athletes through off season and in season. I think they need to communicate more with the coaches, because without a coach, there's no athlete. Without an athlete, there's no coaches as a team. Most of the courses I did, I had to go to the USA track and field to do my certification. But if they could bring more certification courses here, it would be excellent. That's where we don't have to travel abroad to be certified. Former NBA player Billy Thompson paying a visit to the Bahamas thanks to the Global Worship Center, and he did his best to inspire the Bahamian youth in attendance. If somebody has made, um, established a, a good study habit program to go to school and listen to the teachers and a good note-taking system, if somebody's established that, why not get a hold of that and use it? Why mess around? Oh, man, I wonder how I could you know, remember everything the teacher is saying, you know. No, somebody has come up with a way that you can better help, help you remember what the teacher is saying. The high school basketball season is rolling along. Harcourt McCoy is the coach of the Antal Rogers Timberwolves, and he recently spoke about coaches and physical education teachers. There is a, a growing movement that believes that physical education teachers and sports coaches are too um, different genres, um, but there are within the body of physical education teachers just in, in, in any other um, community, very good persons who are passionate about what they're doing, who, you know, have the best interests of the school and the heart for the children. And then you have those persons who are only doing it for the money. Um, and that's the kind of persons we really want to weed out, you know. If I'm going to put in a minimum amount of time um, to get payment for something and the kids are suffering, I mean, I, me personally, I wouldn't want that kind of person in my school coaching my team. And that will do it for sports. Stay tuned. You have the forecast still to come.